Okay, here we have this uh, GPS module, but first we need to check uh, the ID number on its back. Also, it's very important to disable your SIM pin number. I'm doing this on my Samsung uh, mobile phone. Here you can see all the stuff I received along with the GPS module and thanks to the matches you can imagine the size of uh, the module and uh, I'm using the nano SIM card. In this section we will need to activate the GPRS and you will be using the same string because I'm using the default password and uh, later you need to set the correct APN name and you will know it uh, from your mobile network provider, in my case it's the internet. If you successfully activated the GPRS and you set the correct APN name you will see blinking uh, blue amber indicator. You need to leave the unit uh, without any motion at least for 5 minutes and later you can activate the shock alarm. So later if you will move with the GPS unit it will let you know through SMS along with the current uh, GPS position. If you want to deactivate this feature, you will need to send this no-shock SMS to your unit. Do you remember the ID number on the back of your unit? Here you will use it as the login name along with the default password 123456. In case your GPS unit is sleeping, you will need to call it, so it will wake up. First action, go to issue command. You can set admin number, so you can control the unit only with this number. Set SOS number, and in this case of events, uh, GPS unit will be sending messages to this number. Set overspeed alarm, let's say to 5 km per hour. Low battery alarm switch on. Vibration alarm switch on. LED item, you can leave it off. Set language and time zone, in my case I will choose plus one. And this is very important, uh, GPS work mode setting, please choose standby mode if you want the best uh, battery endurance. Now go to alarm setting and change three sliders on the bottom. Now we will go to geofence, find your desired location and put some name for it. Every time the GPS unit will leave this area, the application will let you know. Under historical road item you can check your past trips. Start looking for the letter E icon and you will see the total mileage for that day. If you are curious how many stops you had during your trip, you can check show stay point and you will see.
and if you want to know your parking time just find uh, the letter P icon and you will see it. Go to device and you will see the whole GPS unit history like a lock. Now we will check the website interface for the GPS unit. For me the most interesting feature is the mileage report. First fill out your fuel consumption per 100 km and desired dates. Right after you will see your whole history and you can export it to Excel. But beware, the history lasts on the server only for 2 months.